Hello friends, this video on Mineral Nutrition Part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. It is the time to convert nitrogen into ammonia. So now we will see how this nodule helps to convert nitrogen into ammonia. So now the next step is conversion of nitrogen to ammonia. So now the nodule is all ready. It has got all the required components. Now the question is what all are required for this conversion? So when I say that the nodule is ready with all the components which are required, so we should know what exactly are those components which are needed. So what are those components? First thing is the nitrogenase enzyme. As I said, this enzyme is the one which will help in converting nitrogen to ammonia. So nitrogenase enzyme is one. Next is lead hemoglobin. This is another component which is required. Now I'll just tell you what all role each of them perform. 16 ATP molecules and 8 electrons. So at least 16 ATP molecules are required because we know that it, it will involve a lot of energy. So that energy will come from these 16 ATP molecules. Right? So let us see what does nitrogenase do. So this enzyme is highly sensitive to molecular oxygen. So as soon as it get, comes in touch with molecular oxygen, it reacts. So we do not want it to come in touch of molecular oxygen. So how do we prevent that? So for that prevention, we have leg hemoglobin. So this nitrogenous enzyme converts nitrogen into ammonia by formation of nitrogenase complex. That is the enzyme combines with the uh, substrate to form the enzyme substrate complex. We all know how an enzyme works actually in a reaction. We have discussed this in one of our previous lessons. So anyways, here also we will see how exactly nitrogenase works. So that is the purpose of nitrogenase. Next is leg hemoglobin. Its purpose is to protect nitrogenase enzyme from oxygen because if nitrogenase comes in contact with oxygen then nitrogenase will not be able to perform its task. So it tries to protect or it ensures that nitrogenase is well protected from molecular oxygen. So that is why we need nitrogenase enzyme and leg hemoglobin. 16 ATP molecules that's because the process needs to break a triple bond which requires a huge amount of energy and that huge amount of energy comes from from these 80, 16 ATP molecules and these 8 electrons. So large amount of energy is provided by respiration of host cells. Now who is the host here? Host is nothing but the roots of the leguminous plant. So that leguminous plant is basically the host. So this energy will come from respiration of those cells. So inside that plant, the cells will be conducting respiration. So energy will be produced and those energy will be utilized for conversion of nitrogen to ammonia. So now overall, what would be the reaction? The overall reaction would be somewhat like this. This is the nitrogen. This nitrogen will combine with eight electrons and 16 ATP molecules in presence of the enzyme nitrogenase and it will form two molecules of ammonia plus hydrogen plus ADP. So this ADP is nothing but the ATP adenosine triphosphate will get converted to adenosine diphosphate. Right? So this is going to be the overall reaction of conversion of nitrogen into ammonia. So we started with nitrogen, we ended up with ammonia. So this ammonia is in a usable form. Right? So this is how the conversion of nitrogen to ammonia takes place. So if you look at the overall process in the first step, the nodules are formed. And how the nodules are formed, we saw that clearly when the chemicals are released, the bacteria, they will infect the root cells and that is how the nodules will be formed. Once the nodule is formed, the nodule contains the enzyme nitrogenase, it contains leg hemoglobin and also the amount of energy which is required. So that is how the conversion takes place. Now the question is how exactly the nitrogenase enzyme works. We all know the working of any general enzyme. Any enzyme will combine with the substrate to form an enzyme substrate complex. So the in a very similar way this enzyme also works. 
so this is your nitrogenase enzyme and this portion you look at this shape this is the substrate binding site we call this substrate binding site so if you look at the shape you remember we, we we explained i explained all these things very clearly in one of our previous lessons i think the lesson on biomolecules there i have ex explained the uh, function the functioning of enzymes in detail if you want you can refer that also so this site is the substrate binding site where the substrate exactly fits in to form this enzyme substrate complex so this is the enzyme this is your nitrogenous enzyme so what happens to this nitrogenous enzyme it combines with the molecular nitrogen so here you see the triple bond so they fit in with each other to form the enzyme substrate complex so this enzyme substrate complex is formed now what happens reduction happens what is the meaning of reduction reduction means you have studied about oxidation and reduction in your chemistry oxidation means addition of oxygen and reduction means addition of hydrogen so whenever we talk about reduction we mean hydrogen will get added so here you see two hydrogens have got added with these nitrogen molecules and therefore the triple bond got converted into a double bond with one reduction step again further reduction will take place so the nitrogen will get linked to two more hydrogen atoms so basically two more hydrogen will get added by another reduction and the double bond will get converted into a single bond further again more reduction will happen so two more hydrogen atom will get added up and the single bond is gone now there is no more a single bond also so again a reduction now after this what will happen to this now there is no bond between these two nitrogen so this will eventually break into two pieces and that is what has happened the two nitrogen broke into two pieces so this nitrogen was linked to these three hydrogen this nitrogen so from here it broke and this nitrogen is linked to these three hydrogen so you got one ammonia this is one nh3 this is another nh3 so you got two nh3 and the enzyme remains as it is see this is how the enzyme started and this is how it ended so that is the speciality of an enzyme that it remains it itself remains unperturbed but it makes the but it just helps the reaction to take place so you started with nitrogen molecular nitrogen and you ended up with ammonia so that is how nitrogenous enzyme work to convert nitrogen into ammonia now when so much of breaking of bond take place a lot of energy is also released along with this now some of the important facts in some interesting facts rather regarding the bacteria rhizobium just now i said that rhizobium as long as it is present under the soil it is free living that is it lives independently of other organisms but as soon as it comes in contact with the leguminous plants roots it becomes symbiotic in nature now the free living rhizobium that is the rhizobium which is in the soil they are aerobic in nature that is they are oxygen lovers they love oxygen because aerobic means they need oxygen for their metabolic processes but in that case the enzyme nitrogenase is not operational because nitrogenase is oxygen hater it doesn't like oxygen but when you talk about the nitrogen fixing rhizobium the nitrogen the free living rhizobium can never be nitrogen fixing because for nitrogen fixing there there has to be the nitrogenase enzyme which has to be operational which is not in case of free living rhizobium so only the symbiotic rhizobium the nitrogen fixing rhizobium which are present in the roots of the leguminous plants only they are um, nitrogen fixing now they are anaerobic in nature that is they do not want oxygen so see that is a that is something very interesting the same rhizobium when in the soil they are free living they are aerobic but when the same rhizobium is in the root nodules of leguminous plant they are nitrogen fixing they are symbiotic and they are anaerobic so in that case the nitrogenase enzyme is also operational thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test 
get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.